Hello everyone and welcome to the re-review of Naruto and Sasuke Switch figures, figures, I guess. Um, yeah, so, so as I was saying, the re-review, I guess I'm reviewing them again or just looking at them again with you guys because um, they're quite different than the last time you saw them, at least Sasuke's Naruto's just paint details, really. Um, yeah, so because Naruto's just paint details, let's start with them because it will be much quicker. Okay, just a sec. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Naruto. Well, articulation with them is the exact same because no real changes was made. Uh, as you can see, he's without this coat that I made him. Uh, wasn't that good anyway. But, um, yeah. Let's start looking at what I actually did here. So, I removed pretty much all the paint, you know, all the yellow circle nine looking thingies and, uh, you know, the yellow on the sandals, shoes, whatever they are, you know, because they're like boots, but they're open. So sandals but really doesn't matter uh, when I removed all the paint that I did before it was basically a really well a really dark orange I guess that's the color of the plastic that they used uh, the same type of color that here in the joint if you can see it yeah no whatever um yeah so I actually repainted the hair from the original paint because uh, this one is much more yellow and uh, let's see here, here uh, on this face if it will focus here doesn't really focus but you can see here on his sideburn it's not really yellow it's more of a beige co color so I repainted it to look much more accurate to how it's supposed to look uh, and basically I repainted everything that's supposed to be the black stripe there and uh, orange all over even the legs were uh, yeah um, that bandage thing there uh, the wraps didn't really work w quite as well you can see some orange paint bleeding over there and uh, yeah so that's about it with Naruto actually no one more thing I took uh, like a piece of cloth from uh, a belt from a custom a costume from like Halloween and stuff uh, it was already ripped so I took it and I cut it up and basically just made a knot and glued it to the figure so you could have his bandana because I lost my piece of the you know the one that plugs into the back, I lost it and I have no idea where it is so yeah and even when I uh, tried to sculpt it along with those uh, horn bangs things that going up I d did it on my own head you can't see it but still you know when this hair is going more up than you know the down to cover the headband uh... yeah i tried to sculpt, 
to sculpt it and it really didn't work uh, yeah so I was kind of disappointed with the outcome of whatever I was trying to do with this figure and just reverted it to how it was before I messed up before I messed with it even so yeah maybe if I get like a bootleg Naruto then yeah I will do another custom like that and actually I am plan planning on buying new Naruto figures n not just like specifically Naruto but all the figures from the collection that I am missing yeah so let's move on to Sasuke really quick here yeah so he gained like the most change here within the what was it couple of months really so he fell from the shelf for no reason that I know of something maybe fell down first and knocked it off I don't know but it fell and the color piece of his shirt basically just broke so I had to as you can see make it look like he's shirtless underneath uh, try to make it look like some muscular build on at least the chest I couldn't do anything with the other part but I did remove the paint apparently like whenever they made it in the I don't know in the factory they made just like a body color a skin color piece and just painted it gray to make it look like his shirt but uh, I kinda need to take this apart you can see like this is not painted or anything I didn't paint over it with uh, with skin color like I did here but this is originally skin color which was super weird I don't think the like the original figure is supposed to be like that you know the one from actual Bandai slash Tamashi Nations uh, this is a bootleg as I mentioned in the first video but yeah let's take him apart so you can see exactly what I did uh, so in the video before that I already mentioned uh, his shoulders and uh, god damn it his shoulders broke and his thighs broke so uh, I basically replaced this joints with uh, Figma joints but it didn't work out so I went with Marvel Legends I kind of grinded up a little bit but it works pretty much it works pretty good you know like almost exactly like the original was except without the tilting up and down motion thing uh, and here this is uh, the kind of big joints from Figma uh, that is basically all that happened with the legs um, yeah you can see I kind of sculpted he this here because I wanted to look like muscles and this was originally like a uh, Levi's shirt you know Levi's jacket so uh, yeah my Levi broke a long time ago and I couldn't fix it so I just used his parts here uh, this is an Android joint here which correlates to this port that I took from uh, my Android uh, link extra parts from his legs I just cut it up and put it there um, yeah so that's what happened damn it's kinda hard taking this off uh, I replaced the elbows with Figma joints and uh, yeah that's about it you know but it does have now pretty good articulation better than before you know because the it was the old 
kind of joint system that uh, t machinations had, not the good new ones. Uh, that you know the long ball peggy things that went straight into the chest there and it had to wiggle around with it to make it look good and it would take a long time to just pose him so it would look good but yeah this kind of bare bones of it you know without this skirt piece Ah uh, yeah, I also put like a uh, Figma wrist joint here because I don't know what happened but whenever I got this figure and I opened it, the ball joint, you know, just fell off from this belt and went into my couch and I never found it between the crevices, it just disappeared. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, the wrist joints are just glued in place, but they still work fine, you know. They don't have the kind of good motion like this, you know, up, down, and swiveling, just the swiveling has. But it can still, like, hold his Chidori and uh, sword. Oh, yeah. Another thing with the hand, I uh, I took this apart, you know, the finger and uh, thumb apart. It was like molded like this, and that makes him only hold this. But if I ever want him to hold anything else than the sword, then you can't do it unless you cut that very small cut it's not even no noticeable doesn't hurt the scope just uh, makes it able to open up a bit so you can hold other shaped things this is goes longer than I thought so uh, let me just put it all back together to say my final thoughts okay so back with no uh, never mind Okay, so back with Naruto and Sasuke, actually this time, curse you, Vegito. Uh, yeah, so, um, that is about it, actually. So, uh, that's all the changes that I made to them, and I really hope that that's the last bit of it. Just, you know, I only need to paint over the gray parts on the sculpt here, you know, on the arms of Sasuke, and uh, that's about it. Oh, I forgot this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's about it. Some stupid me talking about my life. You don't want to hear nothing about that. No, I bet you don't. Uh, yeah, so, um, again, that's about it, really. Um, I will see you guys later.